Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL stored process tutorial for beginners. This is our part 17. Inside this video session guys, we are going to discuss about MySQL stored functions. Now inside our previous video up to part number 16, we had seen about the different different scenarios, about the loop statements, about conditionals, many more things in our MySQL stored processor. Now this time we are going to discuss about stored functions of MySQL. So if we go to the next slide, now what basically MySQL stored functions are? So a stored function is a special kind of a stored program that returns a single value. This is is a simple function which basically made to complete any particular function or any particular task. Let's say that we have an email address and I want that that email address should be convert automatically inside uppercase. So for that we are going to make a stored function. That stored function will take the parameter as the email address as well as it returns after making into uppercase it returns the value. So a stored function is a special kind of a stored program that returns a single value. So this is the difference between MySQL stored function and MySQL stored processor. Inside a stored processor, they actually not returning any value, but MySQL stored functions are going to return some value. And one more difference is that due to the returning value, all MySQL stored processors are non-deterministic. The functions are deterministic in nature. Now what is the syntax actually we need to follow to make our stored functions. So here is the syntax something called create function. This is the actually keyword we need to write and here we have to pass the function name. Inside this function name if we want to use parameters so we need to pass the parameters separated with comma inside parenthesis. Including this syntax we need to add something more and something called return type and here is the data type. As we had discussed that if suppose we pass an email address and it returns into the uppercase of that email. So the return value is also the varchar type. So we need to specify varchar here and all the logics go after that declaration. So let's see about the stored functions into action. So if I back to my admin, go to routine section. Now inside this routine section. The alternative way to create our stored functions into a shortcut way or by using manual interface if I click on add routine. Now inside this as we can see that so far we had used about the type equal to processor. Now this time I am going to use call the function. This is MySQL stored function. Now let's say that convert this email this uppercase inside this function simply we will pass an email address and this function will return the uppercase of that email address. So let's say that it will receive a parameter something called email address and it should be varchar and let's say 20 in length or let's say 50 in length. Now the return value as we know that we are going to return the same email address but, but the case is changed. So the return value should be varchar and let's say 15 length. Now inside this body section I am going to write our logic. So let's say begin and let's end here. Now if I make some zoom, now inside this begin and end, I am going to specify or use the MySQL function and let's say return, let's return to convert any value from lowercase to uppercase or any of the parameters we are going to use called the MySQL function upper. So let's say upper. Inside this upper function, we are going to pass this parameter. So email address, I am going to pass that and successfully by converting into uppercase, it returns the same value. So after defining the body, let's say that it is deterministic because it is going to return some value and definer, let's say root, at the rate, let's say localhost, definer and it contains SQL. Now if I press go button, so go button. So successfully if you go at the top, we had defined our first MySQL stored function. Now inside this list, as we can find that this is the email address. Now this is a stored function which basically converts the email address into uppercase. Now if I click on execute, 
it will take some value. Now let's see that if I pass Sanjay at gmail.com or dummy email address, press go here. Now if we go at the top, now as we can see that the stored function is returning the value into uppercase. So this is all about to create a MySQL stored function by using the manual layout provided by phpMyAdmin. Now let's say that we are going to create by using our MySQL command. So let's say that delimiter, here I am going to specify delimiter, I am going to end that so semicolon and let's say that create function and let's say that I am going to calculate or let's say find the length of the string. So let's say find, let's say length, let's say string or let's say find string length. This is our MySQL, MySQL stored function. Now inside this function, we are going to pass a parameter which will take a string value. So let's say it will something, let's say string or str. Now here we have to define our return type. So if we back to our syntax, so we need to write returns. So let's say returns. Now here we have to pass something called int value because we are going to calculate our length. And let's say the next is something called deterministic. Now all the declaration we have done now. So inside this begin, let's say begin, and here. Now after inside this begin and end, I am going to write our logic. So let's say that return, simply we need to find the length of the string. So for that, we are going to use simply call the length function of the MySQL. So inside this length, I am going to pass this str value. So pass that, semicolon, and if I press go button, so I think that we have some error and this is something called unrecognized statement type. Now if I scroll to top, so let's say that unrecognized statement type and I think the error should be something here and actually we are passing the string value inside this function but actually we haven't mentioned about the size of that string. So let's say that we are going to take about something 50 characters of the value inside this string. So if I press go button, now as we can see that successfully we have created our MySQL stored function. Now to check that if you go to teens, now inside this list as we can see that find string length. Now if I click on execute, let's pass some value, let's say Sanjay. Now if I press go button, go at the top, now the total string contains the length of the 12 value. Now again click on execute, let's say online, web tutor, press go button. Now if we go at the top, then as we can see that the total length of that string is 16 value. So if suppose we want to execute this MySQL stored function by using our SQL command, so how can we execute that? Go to SQL tab and let's say select, this is our function. Now inside this function I'm going to pass a string value and let's say that online web tutor and let's say that string or let's say total length. Now if I press enter or and we have some error something called as total length and it's because we have to remove the extra space in between the words so let's say that it should be let's say underscore so if i press go button now as we can see that the past string value has the total length of 16 characters so this is all about our mysql stored function inside this video we have seen about the about the definition, about the create, about our how can we create manually by using phpMyAdmin tool as well as by the help of our command all we have seen inside this video. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.